Hello and welcome to Black Box Trading. I'm your host, JT, and here on the channel, we focus on Bitcoin fundamental and technical analysis. Uh, tried to give you a live stream just a few moments ago, but my stream was breaking, getting a wired connection. So uh, hopefully we can get back into the live streaming game. So in today's video, I'm going to kind of do it as though it was a live stream, but this is going to be a pre-recorded video so I can get this out to you in a very timely uh, manner because there's some movement happening in the market. So I want to cover primarily Bitcoin. We're going to talk about long-term charts. We're going to do the medium-term charts and we're going to do the short-term charts. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the king of all crypto. That is Bitcoin. Okay, starting things off here on the weekly chart. We are a few weeks away from the halving and uh, we're overheated. You know, it's uh, it's not, uh, we did avoid the bearish divergence. There was a bearish divergence here on the weekly, but we broke out of the level at around uh, 5,200, which we said in the previous video, I was expecting a breakout of the 50s. Uh, yeah, we got a new all-time high consolidating at this level. Now, credit to the bears, there is room to the downside. If, and I I want to preface this by saying that I am very bullish on Bitcoin in the in the short to medium term. So we're going to cover the long term just so that none of this comes as a surprise to you in the event that it occurs. But right now going into the halving, the halving is kind of a sell the news event. So you need to be careful. Again, we're talking weekly candles here. So this can take months to play out. Uh, it's certainly not short term analysis. This, this can take months. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if after the halving, we get some sort of a slump, some sort of a correction. You know, it's very typical in Bitcoin's price action to get a 30% recorrection, which would bring us right back down to the area to retest the area of the initial breakout. So don't be surprised if after the halving, we do get a little bit of a dump. Now that needs to only, that can only really be taken into account if we start to see things degrade on the smaller time frame. So let's go ahead and take a look at the four hour, which is a much better chart, much better picture. So taking a look at the four hour, let's turn volume off. Let's get the RSI off. Um, we're supported by our bull market control band. You know, this is our, our green wave. We are supported by that. We have buy signals flashing inside of the green wave. We've got a green diamond inside of the green wave. That's typically a good buy zone. So the medium term charts are saying that we are, you know, there's nothing to freak out about. Yes, there is downside uh, room on the macro, but when we're on the medium term, there's nothing that says that we're going to have a breakdown. Now, what I would be looking for is a break of this level. So if we can take out this low to the downside, then we could be, you know, trending our way down to that area of the 50. But as long as we are inside of this upward sloping channel, the assumption is we're going to stay inside of that channel. And we do have a retest coming in right here on the four hour if you're in the vip we already discussed this area down here at around sixty five thousand dollars as a retest of this previous uh local swing low if we see that um with a little bit of a divergence so if we take a look at the rsi you know let's say we get a uh, a higher low on price but we get a lower low on rsi which at this point seems like a bit of a stretch but if we did get to see that um that would be a positive sign and if we could get another green diamond uh that would be again a positive sign so medium term not looking that bad to be perfectly honest with you i think the medium term looks like uh we're we're in a healthy consolidation the market is digesting Digesting the supply and uh the, you know we're not in uh the the bullish conditions that we were in a few weeks prior but you know this is a healthy consolidation on the on the uh lower time frames now let's take a look at the small time frames taking a look at the 15 minute shout out to the vip group who uh who got into this trade we got a beautiful beautiful bang box signal if you guys are wanting to get hooked up with bang box uh just follow this qr code popping up at the top uh, popping up on the screen right now get into the discord we are feeding signals into the discord i'll show you what those signals look like you get uh you know an entry warning that tells you to get prepared where where a signal is coming then we we flash an entry signal where you can copy and paste all of the uh, entry parameters. So we got an entry here 
This was a, uh, a trade a couple trades ago. We got an entry at 70K. Then we got a take profit. This was a profitable trade. We got another one. Uh, this is last night's trade. This was a fantastic trade. And uh, again, you just copy and paste the orders, uh, put that into BitGet or 2Bit. And uh, yeah, we got a beautiful 20% trade while the market went down, you know, since that market's down 4%, but overall, you can see all the black box trades we've been getting, lots of black box trades. Market overall is down 10%, and overnight, last night, we're up 20%. So uh, if you guys aren't already in the Discord, highly encourage you to check things out. All you gotta do is scan the QR code or follow the links down below and uh, get signed up and in the group today. To get registered for VIP, just to let you know, it's a $500 deposit. That is your money. That is for you to trade with. Uh, we will never take a cent from you. We don't take money with this service. So it's completely free. Check it out. Do your own research, all of that. So small time frames, it's a lot of chop, which is fantastic for the trading signals. You know, when we have volatility in the market, we're able to extract a lot of value. We've had a good amount of uh, volatility right now. The uh, bang box signal is setting up again. So we are getting ready for another signal. We got a beautiful signal right here and we're just waiting to see. So small time frames. what would I like to see? I would like to see some sort of a pattern where we get kind of like maybe a descending consolidation where you get uh, descending lows with maybe an RSI that begins to climb, giving you that divergence. If we see that divergence, we're gonna get a pop. If we get that pop, uh, we're going to flash fire a signal and uh, we will be probably able to extract another 20% out of this down market. So yeah, the the small time frames look good. The medium time frames look neutral and healthy, consolidating. And then the higher time frames don't look bearish, just pointing out the fact that we have all of this open air uh, above this consolidation. So in the event that we do get a break below, there is open air. So don't be surprised if we get a, you know, a large retracement. It's very healthy for Bitcoin to do 20 to 30% retracement. So it shouldn't be a surprise to people, but this might be your first bull market. So it's good to get you know level-headed and prepared mentally for that. Um, yeah, just a quick video. This was intended to be a live stream, but we're gonna put it out as a video instead. So just wanted to uh, keep you guys uh, up to date as far as the progression of Bitcoin here. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this content, please leave it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the links below for your uh, VIP content. And until next time, please trade safe. It is jungle out there. Peace.